Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. And we're going to talk about uh, toxic relationships today. If you're new here, we've got over 1,300 audios for your listening pleasure variety of topics. Would love to continue to be of service to you. If you're dealing with toxic relationship patterns and you're trying to break free, would love to be of assistance where I can. So feel free to reach out at PO Perception on Twitter or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either one will get you in touch with me or a member of my team. We can move from there and make a good decision for you in terms of how to move forward. So what are some signs of a toxic relationship that you got to pay attention to? The first is absolute rule. The idea that a person has uh, the ability to be uh, absolute, that is, take complete control over a child's um, autonomy, over their value, over their self-esteem and, and self-importance is one of the most toxic things that any parent can do or any person can do. So absolute rule is a sign of toxicity because the search for power is uh, ultimately the root behind that particular behavior. That search for power is usually continual for these individuals for a variety of reasons, but the desire to be more even keeled and honest and open to a more rapport building and even keeled relationships is extremely difficult. The absence of emotional consistency is another factor that people struggle with in a variety of ways. Absence of, of emotional consistency can uh, often lead to a lot of toxic behaviors and or expectations that are uh, unhealthy. Um, and so this can manifest in a couple of ways. Generally speaking, it's, you know, visual, physical absence, meaning we are not spending time together. We are not uh, connecting on a level where the rapport is being built by making that time spent together a priority, but also the reality of kind of moving towards a deeper level is another challenge there and ultimately uh there 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 gets to be a lot of challenge there and and knowing how to um you know make things uh i guess you'd say more 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 driven or more um struggle based and at the end of the day, when we get to a place where we know how to make better decisions for ourselves, we can then kind of see the patterns. But understanding the patterns doesn't necessarily mean that we know a, everything that needs to happen in order to break a pattern. And so also the habit of breaking a pattern is one of those things where people need to be able to understand how to do it and understand the way in which doing it is a, a super valuable thing or a thing that uh, ultimately leads us to a good and smart and intelligent place. Um, the next thing that, that comes about is kind of not having decent boundaries, good boundaries, or boundaries that are meaningful for both parties. When uh, boundaries are not kept in relationships, obviously, the level of emotional disrespect becomes an issue, but also the level of just expectation that another person is there to fill one person's needs and the relationship becoming exceptionally one-sided is another issue altogether. And so that can become super toxic for a number of reasons. Knowing how to set those boundaries and learning relational expectation is one of the most important things that any person can do for themselves when they're trying to uh, build better relationships, have a more equitable and fair communication style with a person. So hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.